Michif language means uh, family communication. It means um, we're able to progress and and go and uh, teach it. And um, once we learn it, we can always use it and implement it within our everyday lives. Basically, it's our background, and if we don't have it, we can't use it. So it's basically our life too, as well. I believe that uh, if we don't learn to speak Michif in our own language, in our own culture, um, and know our history of our own people, um, it's going to be just like any other language that's always been lost and all of a sudden people just find it as just there and they're not going to know the background, they're not going to know how to say it, how to pronounce it or how to use it. Um, and that's just a bad part about it. Um, the generation between um, the elders and the younger people or whatever, uh, Generation X, Y and whatever, uh, they lost all of that and it wasn't ever taught. It was just privatized basically. Um, and it's beautiful to see that it's coming out now. My mother, um, my brother, uh, my daughter, uh, my girlfriend, um, the rest of my family, whoever I basically can. Um, Try and say a few words here to maybe just anybody I see, Tanja Kia um, and stuff like that or whatever, just simple words and stuff. Um, hopefully they'll catch on and they'll learn a little bit too. A very fluent uh, teacher, <laughs> a very fluent teacher. I would just love to be able to communicate back and forth and you know every word that they're actually saying and this way, this way I can respond in kind and learn lots from there too and uh, have a really good uh, relationship with just people like that. In my community, my mother speaks the language. She's my teacher. Um, there are a few uh, other elders that actually do speak the language. Um, everybody. I would love to everybody to seize it. Mitchef should be spoken anywhere that you feel comfortable or anywhere at all. Um, the problem with uh, people not speaking it or using it these days is I think is uh, in history they were taught shame, they were taught humility, they were taught uh, not to use it. Uh, they were taught to be afraid of actually using it and not being able to use it in the outside world and that was the big problem back then. That has a bit of history as well. Uh, when I was younger I was Growing up, I never uh, knew who I was. I didn't know my identity, and even if I did, I didn't want to acknowledge it. Um, I didn't want to be Métis. I didn't want to go anywhere with it. Uh, I wanted to be somebody else. Um, and it took a long time for me to actually realize that I'm not that other person. I'm not that fake person. I want to be me now, and which is Métis, Michif, and therefore, I'm uh, basically I'm doing what I can to learn the culture, to learn the history, to learn everything I can to pass it on. That would have to go along the lines of basically a lot of Métis people, Michif people. Um, it's They would kind of like be um, not using it. Um, they would kind of like be a zombie. Uh, <laughs> walking around without the use of that actual knowledge and that brain basically pretty much. It's kind of like that. Um, but uh, I think if anything though, if it actually went to sleep and nobody was using it, then it'd probably be the same thing. Um, somebody would find it one day and wonder what it is. Um, can somebody translate it? Can somebody use it? Can somebody tell me what it is? You know what I mean? Definitely identity, closeness to family, relationships, um, community events, um, just about anything you want to do. Uh, it's going to bring you all together and uh, basically when we weren't learning it, we weren't using it and we weren't doing it. Um, everybody kind of separated and they were in their own uh, personal spaces basically. So um, when we use it now, we're going to be closer together and we'll be able to uh, connect a little bit better, I think. More people would know the history, first of all. Um, 
they would be able to understand, uh, even though the rebellion is being taught in the schools these days or whatever, I do believe that uh, a lot of people still believe the old, um, the old story where uh, he was a traitor, rebellious, and all this or whatever, but they don't actually know the real story or the reasons why they all did that. Um, and everybody rebelled and did all of that because they had to survive. Um, and I'm sure if anybody actually lived that life, they would know that basically you do what you can to survive. So, um, But like I said, uh, the real truth is not taught in the schools, um, and a lot of people don't know it. So. Um, if they can actually get a start from there and progress on, then they'll actually have perfect understanding. The culture will come as well. Um, once you start learning the, the language as well as me and my mom, when we do our classes or whatever, she teaches me culture, she teaches me the history, um, uh, she also teaches me the language, so it all folds into one.